Hi everyone, on this video we will be taking our first step into analysis services and data mining. And what we're going to do is actually download a sample data warehouse here from AdventureWorks and turn that into a tabular cube. It sounds like a lot of stuff, but I'm going to walk us through here step by step. So first off, what we're going to do is come to this page here for the AdventureWorks installation. If you've been following along before, we actually downloaded just the regular database here, the OLTP. Uh, database, but what we're going to do now is go down to the data warehouse downloads. So let's select this first one and save the file. And we're going to do the same thing that we did before. We're going to restore this database so that we have it on our server. So let's open this up. Keep that there for now. Let's bring over SQL Server Management Studio. Connect to the database engine. Right click, restore. From here, we'll do the same thing as we did the first time. Device, add, let's open this file location. And we will move this guy over here. We could have copied it over just to keep it back up. So now if we refresh, we have data warehouse file. Okay. Okay. Verify. Everything looks good. Again, I'm going to, just like before, get rid of the year and click OK. And now we have the data warehouse version. So you can see there's dim back tables here. Essentially what this did is it took the regular application data, the way they had it built, and used dimensional modeling concepts to build it into a data warehouse. And that, that in itself, the theory and the, and the strategies behind that is uh, outside the scope of this video, but um, for our sake, this is the format we want it in. So from here, now that we have our data warehouse, we can shift over to using analysis services to actually create a tabular cube and, and work with that aspect of SQL Server. So just as an intro, when we connect here, usually up to this point, all we've been doing is database engine connections. But this time we want to do analysis services. And we want to use the same server. We set this up initially on the install, so we should be able to connect to this here without an issue. It should be available. And this is what the analysis services structure looks like. We don't have a whole lot in here. We haven't used it yet, but that's what it looks like. And this is where we're going to deploy our tabular model or tabular cube in here. So now why don't we start to work on that part? Let's bring over Visual Studio, open that up. So from here, we're going to create a new project. And this time, last time we did the integration services, this time we're going to analysis and we want to do analysis services tabular project. And we'll call this demo tabular. Okay. And this screen should come up here and it may default you to integrated workspace. For our sake, I'm going to suggest we do our own workspace version, our local server. So go ahead and put your machine name and the name of the instance. In our case, it's demo test. We can leave this as is and click OK. And it will create this project for us. So now we have a project ready to build a tabular model. And the first thing we need to do, just like with all these other services, is we need to create a data source. And we can go over here, new data source. There's a bunch of options. What we are concerned with right now is getting that data from that data warehouse. And we did not put it yet here, We in here. We have it in our regular SQL Server database. It's just another database. It just happens to be formatted in a particular way with dimension of back tables. So let's click that. Server, again, we'll put our same one in that we've been using. 
we can select this later, click OK. Windows, you can put your, so here, you know what, in this case, let's use our service account, the one we set up before. We haven't really used this yet, so let's, let's use it here. Let's use that SA service account that's built into SQL Server. Put that there and the password that we put. For me, it was just the basic password, capital P with an exclamation point. Let's see if we can connect. Okay, so this is gonna come up here and it's just saying you know, this, this is not going to be encrypted, but that's okay for, for right now because we're just doing testing on a local service here. Here are the different available databases and we are going to do the data warehouse. Click OK. All right, so now it is connected here, we're good. And what we wanna do now, in order to create a model, we need to have tables. So let's right click here and import new tables. All right, so now we have all of the tables here from our data warehouse, which ones do we want? Let's do dim customer, dim date, dim geography, dim product, product category, subcategory, and then fact internet sales right here. All right, so let's load this up. All right, success. So now this just created the model for us. We can see all of the tables down here. And if we go to this view, we will see it in a visual layout as well. You can drag these around, do whatever you want. Here's another one. You know, and just make this look uh, in a way that maybe is more user friendly to you. So at this point, we are ready to go. We are ready to deploy this. If we switch to, just to see the tables here, if we switch to Solution Explorer, let's rename this. We can call this Demo Model. And one thing I wanna do here is just check the properties to make sure that the server we're using is the one that we've installed, our instance demo here. Okay, and I will save and deploy. Okay, success. Now let's go back to SQL Server Management Studio and check out our analysis services uh, database here. So let's, let's refresh this. Okay, so here it is. Demo tabular. This down here is, is nothing to worry about. It's extra. We'll probably end up just deleting it. It may be because I'm still working on it over here. But if we go down and drill down here, we can see the tables, the connections, and, and everything. So at this point, our cube is officially deployed and we're able to access it in another application such as Power BI, which is what we'll do in the next video. So thanks for watching and we'll see you uh, in the next one when we start to create some visualizations off of this.